it's Rox, welcome to my channel. So today it's time for another update on my project plan 2022. So this will be my six months update. Before I start, let me just tell you about what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing my swimsuit, <laughs> but I would like to talk about more the makeup. So I'm wearing um, a dual chrome by Pastel Roses, Cornflakes. And um, I've used my water activated uh, liner palette by Clisten Cosmetics in collaboration with Fairy Freak. So uh, I use a combination of uh, Angel, Smoothie, and Freak. So this is it. I really like it and I have fun. With all that being said, uh, we will start uh, with the update uh, on my project bed. This uh, video was about my three months update, so it's been three months since I, I've been doing an update for you guys. And I've had a lot of progress since, and I'm really happy uh, to show you uh, the results. Before starting with the video, I will answer a photo of uh, the last declutter, so just you can see the evolution of my products. start with the complexion products I will start uh, with my foundation so I have uh, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter powder foundation so this is what it looks like now so the pen has grew uh, very big but I feel like it's a never-ending product <laughs> I feel like it's infinite and I'm kind of tired to be honest but I will finish it up because it's a, it was expensive, like 50 bucks, and yeah, I want to get uh, all the use that I can, but sometimes um, I switch between this one and my NYX one, and um, my health one, and um, actually I've hit pen in my NYX one this month, so this is what it looks like. So when this one will be finished, this one will take its place in the project pad. After that, we will continue uh, with blushes. So I have uh, my Vanilla Cream Truffle Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics. So this is what it looks like now. So now I have one shade completely done. And this one, I grew bigger. And yeah, I'm beginning to work with these two, uh, so I'm hoping to have some pen uh, some days. And by the end of the year, I hope that this one will be finished too, and maybe have a pen in one of these two. After that, I have highlighters, and I feel like it didn't really move uh, from the last uh, video. Um, even though I'm using uh, this, these highlighter all the times. I feel like I haven't had uh, that much progress. So I have the Rodriel Drive by Ofra Cosmetics. It's a mini one, and I feel like we can see that the rim is coming. But in the last video, it was like this too. So I feel like it's a never-ending product too. So if you want to try Ofra Cosmetics, I would suggest you. To to buy a mini because I feel like it's a never ending product too. It's been like two years since I have it and yeah, it's really never ending. Highlighters, I have two, the Ava 2 highlighter palette by Udentai and this one looks like this and I feel like I have dent in all of them but Really not a clear progress from last time, but I will keep it in the project pan and hope by the end of the year that we will see a real progress in it. Hi, it's Editing Rocks. So I just wanted to say that I forgot something um, in the complexion products uh, segment. So I've hit pan on a blush that wasn't in my project pan. So I just wanted to show you and include it in my project pen to use it more and try to use it up uh, one day. So this is the Totally Chill uh, Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush by NYX. So as you can see, I have the tiniest little 
baby pen. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to add this blush in my project pen and I hope um, I'm going to be able uh, to use it up, maybe not by the end of the, of the year, but close, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, and I think it would be a nice uh, color for uh, the end of the summer and uh, fall. So yeah, this is it. So uh, I will uh, let you with the fast rocks. Okay, bye. After that, I will continue with uh, the eyeshadows. So one eyeshadow that I had it last time, I think I will get it out because I've only used it one time since I've put it in, so I think it's not really worth it to force myself to use it. So I will put back um, the Mini Sky by Odin's Eye in the, in my regular drawer. So this is what it looks like. I feel like I've had a little bit of use in uh, Illusion as a dent, but I don't want to force myself to use this, so I'm going to put it back in my regular drawer. So another one that I feel like I didn't really use that much in the last three months is my Natasha Denona Mini Love. I feel like it's looking a little the same as it was three months ago, but I will still keep it in my project pan because I have a really big dent in this one and in this one and I feel like by the end of the year I will be able to have a pen in it. I was talking about uh, the mini uh, Natasha Denona um, I just bought myself two new minis and I will put them in my project pen not to have a pen but just to get more use out of them because they're new and they were kind of expensive for me. Mini. Minis they're like uh, $33 um, dollars Canadian dollars so yeah I have the mini glam and I have the mini bronze so at this point I have used uh, this palette only one time each so I will put them in my project pan so they will be on my desk I will see them all the time so I will think about using them and I would like to incorporate more neutrals in my look with my multichromes to uh, get some new inspiration because that's not a thing that I do all the time. It's more like all colors all the time. So I will try to balance it with neutrals but with multichromes so it will be a, a nice experience. <laughs> so we will continue with Natasha Denona. I have my mini size retro palette. Okay, so last time um, this pen was there in handy and I feel like there's not much that, that it's been going on in this one. Maybe in GoGo, I feel like this one there will be a pen soon. I will be able to get a pen in it and maybe a part. So maybe I will try to focus on these two shades uh, for the next three months. That I did have new pens in these next eyeshadow palettes. So I will begin with my Glam Light Ice Cream Dream. So now mine looks like this. Last time I had a pen in Annie Lavender, but uh, since the last three months I have a pen in Bubblegum and mushy so I'm really happy about that and I feel like I have a decent dent in mango and in cookie monster so maybe I'll try to focus on these two and I forgot to mention the French vanilla it was there for a very long time and even before my project pen it was there so yeah I'm pretty happy um, with the progress on this one I feel like maybe blueberry cheesecake have a very big dent too and maybe strawberry so yeah I have a few shades that I can work on. The last eyeshadow palettes before I move on to singles eyeshadow it's the Club Nebula it's the collaboration between Angelica Nikivist and Kaleidos Makeup. So 
So now mine looks like this. Oh, don't look at the mess. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, there's a lot of pen in it. Yeah, and there's some new ones. So since last time, I feel like Firefly is new. I think You're My Only Hope is new. And I feel Celestial is new. Naru is new. Um, I feel like Queen of Blade is new. Yeah, so may, now I have pen in almost all the shades. I'm just missing Nebula and Rockhopper. So I'm confident that I can have a pen in these two shades by the end of the year. So I'm really happy with this. And it's not the palette um, that I'm forcing myself to use. It's a palette that I really enjoy. And um, I had pens before it was in my project pen because I'm using it so much. It's like, if it's not my favorite palette in my collection, it's really close to be. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it, this palette and I will be sad when I will finish all the shades, but at least um, I will get my money's worth out of it. So yeah. So for the last part, I'm gonna move on to single eyeshadows. So I have my palette from Cleona Cosmetics. So now my shadows looks like this. I think I don't know if you can see very well, but in my iridescence ones, I have pretty big depth. Try to show you. You can see I'm close. I'm close to hit pen, I think. So. And it's not a thing to force myself to use these. Uh, they're really fun to uh, put in the inner corner to have a light or on the brow bone. So the, these are shades that I reach for a lot. So I think I will hit them in them soon. And this one too, have a really big dent. So these one, uh, the other one was Halo and this one is Lux. And I feel like I have a really big dent in tapestry. The other ones have kind of baby pants, but maybe, maybe baby pen, baby dent. I feel like Smolder is getting a, a big dent in it. So I'm really happy with this progress That's because if you don't know, Kiona Cosmetics shadows are really expensive. They're all handmade and they're really beautiful and I want to get my use out of them and just enjoy them all the time the more that I can so yeah happy I will keep them in the project pen so my other singles are new singles to my collection so I will be adding them in my project pen not to really get pen in them just to really get some use out of them and really uh, get my money's worth out of them um, they are less expensive than Kiona's, but still, they're single eyeshadows that you pay like $10 for or more or less. So I feel like I should use them uh, when I have the chance. So, it looks like this. I have a swatching videos unboxing on my channel if you want to see. And yeah, I feel like uh, there's not really dent in them because it's not been that long that I have them. I feel like the one that I've used the most are corn cornflower that I have on my eyes today and um, pixie. So I will put them safe in my box. One that I will keep uh, in my project pen is also not to hit pen in them. It's just to get use out of them, to think about using them, to try to do some fun things and explore more my creative side. So it's my new uh, Activated Wet Liners uh, palette by uh, Crescent Cosmetics in collaboration with Fairy Freak. So I have showed this in the beginning. So they're um, 
activated liners there's two colors per fan i have a video on my channel if you want to see an unboxing plus swatches so yeah um it's my first real look that i did with them and i'm happy i love it it's fun and it's really hard to stop to do details i feel like you always want to add more because it's fun and uh, yeah i just want to keep it on my desk and um, to think about using it and have fun often so <laughs> that's the only reason i keep the keep it in my project pan i know i had uh, some minis uh, li liquid lipstick uh, by jiffy star in my project pan but i'm gonna i'm not gonna talk about them in this video because to be honest i haven't used them in the last three months so i think i'm just just gonna kick them out of the project <laughs> yeah uh, i don't want to force myself uh, to use uh, products uh, that i don't want to so yeah this is it for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up you can share it if you want and i would like to know in the comments uh, what products in your collection that you have pen in them uh, did you do you have a project pen is it something uh, that you like or you want to do? So yeah, just let me know. And um, until then, uh, have fun, go in the sun. Summer is almost over, so yeah, just enjoy. Bye. Oh, and subscribe, please. Only if you want. <laughs>